like you finished fall camp, you finished strong, you feel like you saw what you wanted to see? Yeah, I think I think we had guys step up where we were looking for guys to step up and excited to see what they do, you know, Sunday. Would you like so much seeing Calvin to, to give him that, that other starting spot in linebacker? Just the uh, biggest thing was he was learning as we were going through fall camp, and then he just got more consistent as camp went on, and he's got the physical ability to be a big-time player, so that was what we were looking for, and then he showed it by the end of fall camp. Who's really surprised you this camp, obviously heading into the depth chart, the starting lineup? Was there anyone that you kind of saw going in that really surprised you and kind of caught your eye? Uh, I don't know if surprised, because there's some young guys that stepped up, but we kind of expected them and knew that they had the talent to do it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say there was like a big surprise. We're just happy with with the growth that guys had. What about some of the secondary depth? Dermot, I know a couple of weeks ago, had some high praise for him. Yeah. What did you guys see from him and his talent as a freshman? Yeah, he's got some big time ability and he's he's getting better every day. Um, he, he's a guy that we're gonna keep pushing to help us. So he, he's probably the, if you said surprise, just cause he's new, that would be the one, but, but we're excited about what he's done so far. I know Coach Smith talked about yesterday that he watched the game, San Jose State versus USC. What did you watch in that game and how you guys prepared defensively for them, which they look to be pretty good offensively? They're a very talented offensive football team. Uh, you know, quarterback's really good, dynamic with his arm and his legs. Uh, got good receivers on the outside. You know, tailback strong, runs hard. So it's, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be one of the, I think, one of the better offenses we're going to play all year. We really do. Do you feel like it's a benefit, the fact that you they already played, you got to watch them kind of scout their film, you're not trying to figure out who's on the depth chart, who's going to start, who's not going to start, you have a good idea, or do you feel like it's almost like a disadvantage because they already have a game underneath their belts against another strong opponent? It, it's both. There, there's a part of it where you can you got a game to watch them again this year, but it's also, yeah, their, their biggest improvement is going to be from game one to game two, and we're on game one, so we really got to go out there and execute at a real high level because they will. How much do you watch that matchup you guys had with Cordero in 21? Uh, it, we've watched it a little, just gives us an idea. Okay, how'd he hurt us? What'd he do? We got an idea of that. But other than that, I mean, different offense, different style of how he, how he's playing a little bit. But but as far as how we need to attack him and prepare for him, we got a little bit of taste. On that defensive line, you've got a couple of guys, Gold and the Chatfield, that are now in the second year of the system. How do you think that helps them? Yeah, I expect big years from both of them. I think uh, their knowledge of the scheme, uh, their ability to play faster because of that knowledge is really going to benefit them. Yeah. For that third corner spot, uh, giving that starting spot to Ivy, what you see out of him from fall camp that made you feel comfortable putting him in there opposite of uh, Robinson and Ryan Cooper Jr.? Yeah, consistency. Consistency on the deep ball, consistency in his technique and responsibility. So those were the big factors. I feel like going into last year, there was a sort of vengeance uh, in hungriness that this team had uh, kind of heading into the season but now coming off such a successful season um, it seems like there's a sense of confidence is there any other sort of mindset that you feel like is maybe different than last year that this team is coming into going into game week? no I think it's there's confidence no doubt um, but I, I think it's it's always chip on your shoulder I mean you know what's going on around college football so we, we've got a chip on our shoulder and we've got a lot to prove so i think guys have that mindset and are, are still playing with that hungry ready to prove something you guys ready? Have a turnover goal we, we don't you know we talk about turnovers within our plays and our technique uh, we don't overstress it because when you do that guys start looking for turnovers and bust assignments and so we don't set goals for turnovers we're going to try to be disruptive to the offense and to the ball how ready is this team to hit someone else other than their own teammates on the field? <laughs> They're ready to do that. Yeah, it, it, towards the end of fall camp, it was starting to get a little chippy because guys were tired of hitting each other and all that. But yeah, they're ready, and I, I expect them to be ready on Sunday. Yeah. All right, Coach. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.